For our next question, we see that Eleanor's bank charges $9.95 for the first 12 transactions per month, and then charges an additional $0.75 cents for each additional transaction above 12. We want to know the total service charge for each number of transactions in the month of October. So we begin with 18. What if Eleanor makes 18 transactions? Well, we know her first 12 cost her $9.95. And after that, she made an additional six transactions. So each of those six transactions will be 75 cents. So 18 minus 12 is 6. So we see that she gets 9.95 for the first 12 transactions. And then she gets charged six times 75 cents because she made six transactions above 12. That's like saying 9.95 plus 4.50, which is $14.45. So if Eleanor made 18 transactions, she'd be charged service fees of $14.45. What if Eleanor only made 10 transactions? Well, that's easy. She gets charged $9.95. Even though she didn't make the full 12 transactions, she still gets charged $9.95. Finally, what if she made, oh, it says it there. Even though she didn't use all 12 transactions, she still gets charged as though she did. Finally, what if she made zero transactions? Does she get a free month? Absolutely not. She signed a contract saying that she would pay $9.95 a month at least, and the bank will hold her to that. Ouch is right.